Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming and Winners Don't Use Drugs. You know, it's funny that that Winners Don't Use Drugs screen was on so many arcade games back when I was a kid. It's really interesting, actually. I guess they figured kids were hanging out in the arcades. It's a good way to try and tell them not to do drugs. Anyway, today we're playing Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, which I am excited for, actually, honestly, because what what is more 80s than Michael Jackson? And honestly, many Michael Jackson songs, I think, still hold up today. I mean, like, I was looking at this game, getting ready to play it today, you know, just took a peek at it, and... Uh, I was, like, getting into the tunes that we're playing in the background, you know? Like, Smooth Criminal and stuff like that. Like, good songs. I mean, as you can see, like, I don't know what Michael Jackson has to do with, like, killing bioterrorist guys. He only kicked the guy right in the nuts. He's, like, dancing his way to victory. <laughs> this game looks absolutely insane and ridiculous. Uh, but I am very excited to play it. There's three Michaels, by the way, on the screen. I don't know what the lore is for that in the realm of Michael Jackson. But uh, I love how when you insert a coin, Michael screams. That is so great. All right, one more for the road. All right, we got four quarters in here. Let's start our journey as White Michael because he's in the white suit. Uh, not because his skin color is actually white, although it is white. So it's 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 white, white Michael. All right, so my attacks. Michael has sort of electricity that shoots out of his hand. He can also... <laughs> Dance. The spotlight comes out of nowhere. He just like breaks into dance. All right, that's cool. That's a, a screen clearing thing. And the third button doesn't seem to do anything right now. All right. So we got uh, a bad playing in the background. Oh, also, Michael Jackson saves little children. And there's, oh, there's Bubbles the monkey too. All the Michael Jackson lore is here. This is a lore accurate Michael Jackson beat em up game. I guess. I don't know. This is... This... <laughs> I don't know what to say about him saving the little children. Just like... Uh, it seems like maybe they should have selected something else given the controversies that surrounded poor Michael. But, uh, Oh my god, I turned into Mecha Michael. Okay, so for any of you who watched the Angry Video Game Nerd years ago... I mean, I'm a huge Angry Video Game Nerd fan. Um, so I'd be remiss if I just ignored the fact that the AVGN... And one of his classic episodes played the Michael Jackson Sega Genesis game. And I was debating playing that version or the arcade version here today. Um, <laughs> why is there like a random guy kidnapping kids and the overhead map shows all the kids Michael has to say? Why is Michael on Kid Patrol? This game is ridiculous and yet awesome at the same time. Oh my god, that guy has a kid. Get back here with the kid, man. I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you do it. Michael has to save the girl. Um, apparently in this game you were fighting Mr. Big. And he's some kind of like evil dude who's kidnapping children. And Michael has to save him. And as you can see, he's hired the entire mafia mob. Okay, let's screen wipe these guys. I like how you like force them to dance until they die. <laughs> or I guess my magic hat kills them. I don't know what's going on. Um, but yes, yeah, so of course the... Um... Oh, hold on. Uh, the music in the background. Like, don't you guys just get into that and get into the music, you know? Like, I would I would even say, like, I'm not the biggest Michael Jackson fan, but nonetheless, I feel like almost every single one of his songs I could easily listen to, you know? Like, it's just, they're just good songs, good timeless songs. What am I fighting, robots now? Oh my god, I am fighting robots. Okay, so Michael is moving away from uh, fighting mafia guys into fighting, like, cyborgs and stuff, I don't know. Anywho, the Angry Video Game Nerd did the Sega Genesis version of this game, and, um... You know, I've, I've never played the Sega Genesis version, and I, I've always wanted to. And prob probably at some point I will, actually. Just because I'm playing this version today doesn't mean I won't play the Genesis version. But, uh, you know, the Angry Video Game Nerd has made all these observations that I have, um, already about how he's saving kids and stuff, and, like, what should you say to that? Considering all the controversy around poor Michael when he was alive, and kids you know like it's just just inappropriate in some ways but i mean the guy led a very odd life and definitely had a stunted childhood and uh frankly i don't know all the details all the stuff that went on with kids so we're just gonna leave it at that 
We're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna have some good old-fashioned robot killing fun today to some great 80s background music. Oh my god, I wish I saved a screen clearing attack. Look, what is happening? There's like skeletons with lasers in robes now. Still fighting mafia dudes. What is happening? Screen clear! Oh god, how do I get more of those? Okay, we're doing a screen clear. Boom! Everybody get into a choreographed dance. Dance yourselves to death. Ooh! The digitization, though, of the music here is actually really good. Um, I feel like the... So this, this version was made, I believe, by Sega. And... Oh, the band turned into bad guys. That's funny. Um, the So the console version is a platformer. But it's largely the same as this. You kind of run around beating guys up and saving children. Um, I guess the difference is that this game is sort of on rails, like you're constantly scrolling in the direction you need to go. But um, in the home console version, it's sort of uh, more open, open-ended. You can like just run through the levels and explore them, and you just sort of have to find all the kids, and it can be confusing as to where to go next, so... The nice thing about the arcade version is, is it just kind of keeps pushing you in the direction that you need to go. Like, we're already on stage three, which is pretty cool. Um, oh my god, the environments break. Like, I, I and I also love this top-down perspective. This is actually kind of a cool game. I kind of wish this version of the game had actually made it to uh, home, uh, home consoles, frankly. The platformer version is fine, but um, I feel like... You know, like, I've, I've always been a huge fan of, like, Mario and Sonic and stuff like that. But I remember um, there was an X-Men game on Sega Genesis. And I... It was fine, but, like, it was never my favorite game. And I actually really didn't like the fact that it was a platformer. Um, and then you contrast that with something like Ninja Turtles 2 on the, on the NES. You know, so an inferior system in terms of specs compared to the Genesis. But I feel like that's a way better game. And it's sort of like a you know, three-dimensional brawler. And that's just more fun to me, you know, than a platformer for X-Men. And I kind of feel like this is the same way. Like, I, I like the top-down thing they're doing here. The comic book panels I got going between levels. Like, this is actually kind of a cool game. Um, this version on Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis or wherever they want to produce it would have been, uh, would have been cool. Oh, we got Beat It now. Beat It always reminds me of Back to the Future because of the 80s cafe. Like isn't like isn't that tune pretty good? I think it's pretty good. It's you know what? It's not only Michael Jackson, but it is like Sega synth Michael Jackson. So it's like they not only took something that was 80s Michael Jackson music, but they 80s fight it even more by putting it on a Sega Genesis or a Sega. Uh, you know, I guess this isn't a Sega console, but whatever. Sega made it. Um, it just it it makes it that much better in my mind. You know, Michael Jackson meets Sega. That's awesome. Yes, please. I'll have more of that. Um, we have a third button, by the way, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I wonder if it's like a way to team up when you have multiple Michaels and they can do like a team attack. And I can only speculate as to what that attack would look like. Man, we are getting owned by these dudes. Another fun thing about the fact that we're playing the arcade version today instead of the home console version is that we can just quarter feed our way to victory. We can just pump as much money into this as thing as we need to win. Although, frankly, the even though it's, like, really easy to take damage in this game, I kind of feel like we're getting pretty far on just a few lives here, so... I don't feel like this game is, like, unfair. I... This is the kind of game that I, like, I would have played back in the day because it's, like, at least you get to play for, like, a couple minutes in the arcade. Some arcade games back in the day were really brutal where you'd get, like, you know, 30 seconds and then your quarter's gone, you know? So this, this seems like a, a good amount of uh, difficulty. Just enough to steal your quarters, but not so much that you're going to, like, rage quit and never come back. Um, so this is a different version than the home console version. Again, I would have loved to see this top-down version actually end up on a console. I think that would have been cool. Why are there all these, like, these guys are, like, in mech suits and stuff now. What is, okay, this, this mech is pummeling me with a giant piston coming from between its legs this this green mech here <laughs> this big giant green mech i'm not gonna say what it reminds me of but you guys can uh 
You can you can make some inferences, but let's dance it to death. Take the easy way out here, why not? Kaboom! Don't worry, kids. This guy looks like a midget, actually. He does not look like a child. It looks like a like a 40-year-old dude in a kid costume. Batter. This is batter on the wall. Don't be try don't don't try and be badder than Michael Jackson. He's the baddest there is. Just beat it! Just beat it! Now they keep changing up the tunes when I do my, uh, my monster attack. Hey, we're on Moon Street. The street's called Moon Street. Oh, man, I could listen to a Sega rendition of Beat It all day. Just, just awesome, man. It's just, it's just where I want to be in my life. Mentally, I want to be in the 80s, thinking about Back to the Future, Michael Jackson, and arcades. It's like the trifecta. The trifecta. Um, anyway, there's actually another version of Moonwalker here. So first of all, by the way, Moonwalker was a movie, for those of you who don't know, and frankly, I didn't. Uh, you might be rolling your eyes at me, the fact that I didn't know that, but I, I didn't happen to know it was a movie. Um, so I guess a Michael Jackson movie called Moonwalker came out, and they decided to make some video games, and they made an arcade game. They made the home console game, which the Angry Video Game Nerd has covered. Uh, which, again, I might play someday. They also made a computer version. Um, and it was released on, like, I think... Oh, that's just a shirtless guy with a bottle coming to attack us. Look at this guy! It's just like a shirtless, angry man. <laughs> Mortal enemy of Michael Jackson. A shirtless hick. <laughs> and dogs are dancing! Robot dogs! Terminator dogs are dancing. I got you, Sally. Don't worry. Michael! Then they run off. Um, anyway, yeah, there was a computer version 2 released for, like, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, I think, hold on, I have it, I have it right here, um, oh god, I'm dying, okay, it was released on Amiga, Amstrad, CPC, Atari, ST, DOS, MSX, so basically everything, and it sounds like a totally different game where it had four levels, and each level was, like, something totally different. I'm gonna slam a few quarters in here and continue. We got pretty far on one dollar, to be honest. Four quarters. It's actually pretty good, I would say. Okay, this dancing will buy me time to read the description here. The game features four different levels. The first level is a top-down maze-style level. The next level has similar gameplay, riding a motorcycle. Oh, look, Michael just dances when you just stand still. <laughs> He's just wiggling his crotch at us. You go, Michael. Third level is a side-scrolling level based on Smooth Criminal. And the player must collect ammuni ammunition and shoot at gangsters. That sounds cool. The last level involves morphing into a robot and shooting soldiers in openings with the player. Oh, bad guys just randomly spawn if you stand still for too long, huh? Okay. Um, anyway, morphing into a robot. What What is with this Moonwalker, these Moonwalker games and Michael Jackson turning into a robot? Is that, was that from the movie or something? I, it does... In the Michael Jackson lore, does he have the power to turn into a robot? Is he a robot from the future sent back to show us how to dance? I, I don't fully understand. Look, I'm a robot now. Why? I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe I need to watch more Michael Jackson music videos. And I died instantly. All right, being a robot sucks. We're going to dance our way out of this. We danced our way into this mess. We're going to dance our way out. Huh. All right, die, 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 die. All right, you're done, buddy. When a fully mechanized Michael Jackson shows up and lasers you in the face, you know you've kidnapped one too many kids. Oh, look at the kids all run into Michael. They're like, yeah, you saved us. He's like, I know it, I'm bad. All right. <laughs> I like how when he sees the bad guy with kids, he doesn't say, hey, stop, or anything like that. He just goes, ow! He just sort of does like a like a shout, cat call kind of thing. Like, that's it's pretty funny. Like, use your words, Michael. Don't, don't just shout nonsense at the bad guy. Maybe say, release those children. Maybe he will. You never know. Okay, I'm going to see if I can beat this game on $2. I've pumped in eight quarters. Let's see. I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay, I'm dead already. Um, one thing, though, that I was just thinking of 
is did you guys ever have this back in the day like you'd be playing an arcade game and you put in like four quarters and then after three quarters you totally beat the game and then you're sort of like oh man i wonder if i can get my fourth quarter back but you really can't at that point like it's just gone you have to keep playing the game whether you want it to or not but you put in two quarters or something like that or maybe even just one quarter then your mom's like all right it's time to go and you're like oh mom but i'm still in the middle of my game and i'm doing well and it's like nope you gotta go you know, when your parents told you it was time to leave the arcade, it was time to go, and like, what are you supposed to do? The good parents would uh, let you finish your game, but I mean, especially if you're doing too well, they might be like, look, we don't have, you know, 40 minutes for you to die here. We gotta go now, in the next five minutes, wrap it up. I feel like at that point, you kind of start looking around for like a peer whom you can just hand the controls off to. And then conversely, have you ever been that peer? Have you ever like, been in an arcade and somebody's playing a game and they look at you and they're like, hey kid, like I gotta go here, take over. And you just get like a free game. That's like the the best, uh... Oh God, what is this thing? Why am I fighting cyborgs? Why do I turn into a cyborg? What is, what is Moonwalker about, man? I thought it was about the fact that Michael Jackson can walk backwards in a very funky way. The moonwalk. I, I didn't- Oh my god, we're fighting zombies now, too. Alright, dance to your dead zombies. <laughs> that guy in the red suit was having a lot of fun in that dance. He really got into it. And he died. Um, I know from the Angry Video Game Nerd episode, um, there are zombie levels and stuff, so I mean, I guess this arcade version is very similar to the, um, to the home console version, where it sort of is, like, following the same track, generally, of different kinds of levels. But again, the top-down, I, I like the top-down beat-em-up perspective. You know, there were a lot of 3D sort of beat-em-ups. Um, sort of, you know, like Double Dragon style or Vendetta and, um, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. Like, all those games are sort of like 3D beat-em-ups where you can go like up and down and left and right on the screen. But very few were sort of isometric like this. I kind of like this top-down isometric beat-em-up idea. I can't think of too many other games. I mean, I guess it's a beat-em-up. Really, I'm just sort of walking around shooting people with lasers. It's a laser-up game. I'm lazing them up. Blazing them up. Maybe, maybe we can call it the blaze em up game. Uh, but it'd be cool, yeah. Like, why didn't they make a Ninja Turtles game like this? Sort of like isometric beat-em-ups. I don't know. I I'm curious now, like, what are other examples of this genre? Because I can't think of any off the top of my head. Die, robot! Alright, we've saved everyone. You run off, Sally. You tell him Michael saved ya. When the press asked you, tell him Michael saved ya. And he didn't ask for nothing in return. Just the gratitude of a small child to a middle-aged superstar musician. Alright, let's dance these guys' ass. Look, the red guys are really getting into it. They love it. They love to dance until they die. <laughs> Oh, turn into, uh, turn into a robot. Yeah, you zombies ever tango with a cyborg before? Probably not. Oh, he killed a cyborg. Oh, and I accidentally danced one zombie to death. Alright, well, at least we're still the cyborg. Did you hear that? A zombie just said he loved me. What the heck? I love real Michael. What is this? Oh God. Spirits are being shot at me. Ghosts. Ghostly apparitions. They're my own personal nightmares. My demons are coming back to haunt me. What is this? I'm a ghostbuster all of a sudden. What am I fighting? A ghost producing pump? Some kind of ghost, ghost manufacturing facility. Stumbled upon the big one here, folks. This is the uh, Ghostbuster containment unit, actually. That uh, Walter Peck explodes when he cuts off the power. Ghostbusters 1. What I am assuming is happening right now. I don't know why this Mr. Big Guy has access to all these uh, ghosts. All right, we're into the green ghosts. The Slimers are out. And I'm dead. Am I just permanently the cyborg now? Because that's awesome. Can I dance these? Hold on, let's dance some ghosts. Oh, even the ghosts dance! <laughs> Mr. Big is the only dick who's, like, not dancing in this scenario. 
get out of here. Your ghost containment unit can't stop a fully mechanized Michael Jackson. You fool, get back here. All right, well, we killed him. Let's turn back into human form and for all the, before all the children show up, we don't want to freak them out. Oh yeah, I hear that tune. Alright, this looks a lot like level one. I assume we're like nearing the end of the game to be totally honest. We're at Evil Fortress. And they're starting to recycle levels. In fact, I think this literally is level one. Maybe I'm not actually Michael Jackson. I'm like an android that was assembled in his image and I initially broke out of the evil fortress, saved all these kids and I've returned home. And like the big twist of the game is going to be that I am a cyborg. Sort of like that uh, Silicon Soul episode of Batman the Animated Series, if you guys remember back in the day, where uh, it kind of starts off, you know, some criminals are breaking into a warehouse. Uh, and it has old Hardak parts, and Hardak was, uh, sort of like a Skynet AI that was building, uh, duplicates of people in, like, a Batman episode. And anyway, long story short, out of a crate bursts Batman, and the thugs try and fight Batman, and they even shoot him, but he doesn't die, and instead, he has all these, like, electrical cords coming out of him, and then he realizes he's not the real Batman, he's a, he's a duplicate. But he was such a good, well-made duplicate that he actually has the moral compass of Batman. And he's actually more of a hero than a bad guy. I don't know, it's a great episode. Uh, his Silicon Soul, I remember the title of it even. Um, Batman the Animated Series really dealt with some hard psychological issues. And like, it, it was a show that was like ahead of its time, I would say. I feel like honestly, between Batman the Animated Series and Star Trek The Next Generation, like, the shows, th those are two of my favorite shows from my youth, and I feel like I liked them because they were, like, deep and philosophical and complex, and, like, it was... I mean, ba I mean, Batman was a kid's show, so it was sometimes just, you know, him beating up the Joker and whatever, but it had some surprisingly deep episodes, I would say, and it dealt with some, like, some, like, rather adult topics for a kid's show, you know? It wasn't just all shallow and all silly. So between that and Star Trek The Next Generation, which of course is the thinking man's science fiction, uh, was very had its own levels of deepness and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really, I just, I, I guess I really liked those shows as a kid. I wanted to be mentally challenged. <laughs> not, in the, not in the way that I, I didn't want to be like mentally challenged, but I wanted to have my intellect challenged when I watched shows, you know. Um, anyway, Mr. Big is a spider, apparently. He's got a he's got spider themed elevators here. I don't know what Mr. Big promised you thugs, but it's not worth it. Don't go up against Michael Jackson if you don't have to. I feel like you don't see enough musician themed video games anymore. Where's my Justin Timberlake beat him up? You no, know, or like uh What's that band that all the girls liked? Ah oh, crap. One Direction. Where's my One Direction boy band? You know, what they should do is take Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game for the NES and reskin re it as uh, One Direction. Or like, I don't know, Backstreet Boys, if they're still popular or something, they're definitely not though. I don't even know what boy bands are anymore. Like, I'm so out of touch. Um, wasn't everyone into like Korean music, K-pop or something like that? On their TikToks, all the kids doing their thing. See, I don't even know guys. All right, everybody dance. Get that robot dancing. Move your legs, robot. Flip flip your genitals at the screen. That's how you dance. You wiggle yourself. Wiggle your pelvis. You know, I think we we associate Michael Jackson with having that sort of like, uh, you know, why is he like jiggling his pelvis kind of thing? Uh, dance move. But you got to remember, like, back in the day, Elvis did that, you know, and, like, pe and people were similarly, like, shocked and offended. But, like, it's, you know... Shaking, shaking your groin ain't nothing new for a, for a musician, man. Elvis was doing it in the 50s. And people were still shocked when Michael did it. It's like, did we learn nothing from Elvis? Did we learn nothing? All right, these stupid robots. These these little ones remind me of Mousers, speaking of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, really, really bad. 
Just listening to the music in the background. Really, really bad. Oh, come on. I'm so close to dying here. If I could kill this thing without dying, that would be quite an achievement for me. Who's bad? Oh, I think I launched missiles at that guy. God damn it. Come on, die already, man. How many... You know what? If I had a screen-clearing attack, this thing would be done in one dance move. But instead... Just pummeling it with lasers. Oh, get away from me. See, I'm trying to actually... Even though... Even though I could just credit feed my way to victory. I kind of feel bad when I do that in arcade games. Because I kind of feel like maybe I zone out and I don't try as hard. But, like, I'm trying to pretend like this is an actual console game. And I can't just die, respawn, and then use a screen clear to kill this guy. So we're going to kill this guy the old-fashioned way, man. With grit and gaming determination. He's blinking. Means he's... He's injured. Oh, God. Get away from me. Die. Oh, we got him. Look at that. Look at the sliver of health. I could have phoned it in, guys, but I didn't. I gamed. I put the gaming in Gaming J. Oh, God. I'm not going to die to these things, aren't I? Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't shoot lasers at me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm dead. I'm just dead. <laughs> All right. Another quarter. Okay, let's screen clear this crap. I, I, <laughs> I didn't cut corners on the last guy, but I'm cutting corners now, man. Hi, right, Mr. Big, you kidnapped your last kid. I don't know what you wanted to do with all them chill children, but, uh, your kidnapping days is over. Oh, I see. You can only shoot him when he, his top comes off. Oh, God. Go shoot him. Dance. Make the core dance, man. Get the core dancing. Okay, ow. Ow. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay, we're we're gonna try here. Oh god, ow. Ow. Shoot him. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It's actually hard, because he he shoots stuff in every single direction. Oh we got him though! Wow, that was easier than the, the guy on the way up to the elevator to the He turned into a jet! <laughs> he turned into a jet! What the what the F? <laughs> Ah, Mr. Big dies in a in a thermal nuclear explosion when we jettison. That is Michael Jackson. That jet is Michael Jackson. I don't know what happened there. The mini boss on the way up to Mr. Big was harder to kill than Mr. Big. Um, Michael Jackson turned into a jet. Mr. Big's evil plot has been foiled with the destruction of his deadly doomsday weapon, the gigantic laser cannon. With his mass force reduced to cinders, he is no longer a threat to mankind, but what of Michael? All that is known is that he was last seen soaring away from the grumbling enemy stronghold headed towards the distant horizon. The children he saved, well, they're smiling because deep down in their hearts, they know that Michael will return one day to share with them another wondrous and magical adventure. I like how the, the epilogue here mentions, you know, the last time Michael was seen, he was flying off into the horizon. It doesn't mention he was doing that literally as a jet, which would be the headline. Superstar musician turns into jet. Forget about where he's flying to. He turned into a goddamn jet. Oh, man. Wow, what a random, what a random little ride we went on here today. Ugh, and the music is still so good. Sorry, I keep pausing just to listen to it. This makes me want to go listen to Michael Jackson. Well, I think Sega did a good job with this. It's a it's a little it's a short little game. We beat it on nine quarters, so that's two dollars and twenty five cents, which I think is well money well spent. I would say. Oh God, we have a time limit in entering our name. Can I get it in time? Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, we did it! 7-6! Yeah, we got Jade. Game over. Alright, that's kind of insulting, considering we just entered our high score. We're like, by the way, game over, punk. Hey, wait, we still had a quarter with, like, two more lives. Wait! Hold on! <laughs> wait! <laughs> I, we had two more lives? Did you see that? Do you see what had just happened here? We got screwed! The game, the game totally gypped us! We had inserted a quarter right at the end to kill Mr. Big. We died once. So every time you insert a quarter, you get three lives. We died once. We had two lives left. We killed Mr. Big. And the game's just like, you're done. We, we can't even, like, I'm pressing start. We just, oh my god. We got scammed, guys. I've never heard of an arcade game doing this.
before you beat the game and it's like by the way any money you had in is now ours i wonder if we inserted like eight quarters or something if i had to put eight more quarters in that final boss and we beat the boss would we have lost all of those that is crazy wow Anyway, it was a fun little journey. It's a short little arcade game, ultimately, especially if you're willing to put a few quarters in. But, um, again, I like, I like the idea here. Um, the music is great. Um, the isometric fighting is kind of unique. But I think, you know, like, I like the idea of this game. I mean, the game isn't that hard or complicated. Um, or even that long. Um, but this just oozes... 80s nostalgia so much for me with the Michael Jackson music, the Segafied Michael Jackson music. And then like, you know, some of these songs were in like Back to the Future and remind me of other pivotal moments in my childhood. So it's like, how am I not going to like this game? Of course I'm going to like it. So anyway, I hope I hope this game brought you guys some fun nostalgia. Um, I hope it gave you a few laughs. If it did, don't forget to like the video and all that jazz. And other than that, I will catch you in the next one. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. You all take care of your bad selves. And uh, otherwise, peace.